Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, depending on where you are in the world. And welcome to today's Design News Webinar, How to Kickstart Linear Motion Innovation and Benefits in Five Critical Areas, sponsored by Schmieberger and broadcast by Informa. I'm Bob Sperber, and I'll be your moderator today. We have just a few announcements before we begin. This webinar is designed to be interactive. The dock of widgets at the bottom of your screen will allow you to learn about today's speakers, download resources, share this webinar via social media outlets, and participate in the Q&A session that takes place at the end of our presentation. The slides will advance automatically throughout the event. You may also download a copy of the slides via the resources widget. And toward the end of our event, of our webinar, we will ask you to complete our survey found on the right-hand side of your screen. Please take a minute to fill this out before leaving us today, as your feedback will provide us with valuable information on how we can improve events. Lastly, if you're experiencing any technical problems, please click the Help widget found at the bottom of your screen, or type your issue into the Q&A area, and we'll be glad to offer one-on-one -on -one assistance. Now on to the presentation, how to kickstart linear motion innovation and benefits in five critical areas. Discussing today's topic is Dieter Hogg, Product Manager with Schneeberger. To learn about our speaker, visit the BIOS widget on your screen. Dieter, over to you. Advanced Measuring System. Pictures, text are taken from a study by the engineering company Rochival and Partner, Augsburg, or from Schneeberger catalogs and presentations. Agenda, forward integrated measuring systems by Schneeberger, AMS history, AMS interfaces for different CNC suppliers, cost advantages of the integrated measuring system, summary cost comparison, three axis CNC uh, machine tool, overview of the individual cost calculations, Further advantages, AMS applications. Forward, the cost comparison was prepared by the company Rochival, a partner from Augsburg. Leading renowned engineering company for the development and design of machine tools worldwide. The objective of the work was to investigate the application of displacement measurement systems, especially in machine tools. The differences between conventional glass scales and the advanced measuring system, AMS from Schneeberger, were considered for the first time the entire life cycle of a machine was shown and compared in terms of cost. Integrated measuring systems by Schneeberger. The advanced measuring system from Schneeberger is a magnetoresistive measuring process in which the measuring scale is fully integrated into the guide rail and the reading head is mounted on a carriage. There is just one reader head for all sizes. The reader heads do have protection class IP68. The reader head is assembled into a housing and needs no adjustment. Assembling of a reader head is easy and fast. Insert the reader head on the left position of housing, move the reader head to the right fixing position, bring in the screws and the cover plate and fix the screws. The measuring scale. The measuring strip is fully integrated into standard rail section. A slot is machined into the monorail. Bonding into position and grinding of magnetic strip. The magnetization or production of the magnetic scale is done. Afterwards, a very hard stainless Protection strip is laser welded 
on top of the scale. The origin cross section of the rail is fully kept. Measuring scale. Each measuring scale has two magnetized tracks, one incremental track and one reference track. The reference track depends on the measuring system itself and can have a single mark, a constant reference mark pattern, which we call TR50, a distance coded reference mark pattern, which we call TE50, or an absolute code, which we call TA1. There is a choice of two measuring methods, incremental with analog or digital interface and absolute. The picture shows an absolute measuring system for roller and ball guide base. This picture shows the incremental AMS measuring system for roller and ball guide base. This picture shows the AMS for long distance measuring system, just available for roller guideways. Overview integrated measuring systems by Schneeberger. We have the analog measuring systems for roller monorail or ball monorail. The accuracy class is plus minus five micrometers per one meter measuring length or plus minus two micrometer per 40 millimeter measuring length. The resolution is max 0.0625 micrometers. This is limited by the CNC controller. Protection class is IP68. We have the digital reader heads or measuring systems for roller monorail or ball monorail. The digital interface is also called TTL interface. The accuracy class is the same with plus minus five micrometers per meter measuring length and plus minus two micrometers per 40 millimeter. The resolution is 0.2 micrometers or one micrometer or five micrometer. The protection class is IP68. We do have the absolute measuring systems, AMS, ABS, and those are also available for moon roller monorail or ball monorail and with different interfaces for different CNC suppliers. The accuracy class is plus minus five micrometer per meter measuring length and plus minus two micrometer per 40 millimeter. The resolution, the typical resolution is 0.05 micrometers and the protection glass is IP68. The AMS ABS3L and AMS A3L are measuring systems for really long strokes up to 200 meter measuring lengths. The interface can be analog, one wall peak peak, or absolute. The maximum resolution is 0.0625 micrometers, and the protection class for the absolute ones is IP68, for the analog systems IP67. In order to exclude the possibility of errors in the acquisition, a direct, which is an integrated measuring system, is preferable to an indirect, 
which is an external measuring system in case of doubt. The following measuring principle in a linear motion system is not direct measurement. Rotary measurements, e.g. by means of a rotary encoder on a spindle or within a drive motor for spindles or for gear drives. In the picture above, you see on the left side, this one might the rotary encoder, second is the engine itself, four is a bolt screw, and uh, seven is the integrated measuring system. AMS history. In 1994, Schneeberger starts its activities with integrated measuring systems. In 2001, we developed the first distance-coded system. In 2004, we developed the measuring system for all monorails and lengths up to six meters in one rail. In 2007, we developed the long measuring system, AMSA 3L, for lengths more than six meters. And we developed the AMS Absolute System with interfaces SSI on World Peak Peak. In 2010, we developed the protection class IP68 for Readerhead and the Absolute Interface for Siemens. In 2013, we developed the interface for FANUC and BR controls. In 2018, the development for SEAL-1 for drive click was done. In 2020, the AMS absolute for long measuring distance was developed. AMS interfaces for different CNC suppliers. For Siemens controls, we can use analog measuring systems of Schneeberger as well as absolute systems. We do offer three interfaces, TS1 for absolute systems, TS3 for absolute long version and TS2 for direct drive click connection. For FANUC, we do have as well analog systems and absolute systems and the interface is TF1. With Mitsubishi controls, just digital reader heads are available for incremental measuring systems or absolute systems. And with absolute, the interface is TM1. With Speckhoff, we can handle incremental analog systems or absolute systems. And the interface is called TSS. 2732G20F. B&R automation, we can handle analog reader heads as well as absolute reader heads. The interface is TSS 2732G20F. With Bosch CNCs, we can handle our incremental measuring system as well as absolute measuring system and the interface is called TB1. With Schleicher 
controlled, we can have the analog version or the absolute version of integrated measuring system and the interface is called TSS 27.8G11F. With Fargo controls, we can either have analog systems or absolute systems and the interface is called TSS 2732G20F. With Heidenheim, only analog systems are available. Cost advantages of the integrated measuring system AMS. There are substantial cost advantages of the AMS compared to a glass scale. Design and detailing, material procurement and logistics, production and processing costs, installation and commissioning, ongoing operations, maintenance and service. Summary of a three-axis CNC machining center. The analysis was done for all three axes. For a higher number of axes per machine, the cost advantage for the AMS is correspondingly higher. Basis of consideration axis with two MR45 frames as well as four carriages, stroke length 800 millimeter, drive ball screw with servo motor compared to glass scale models. The comparison shows a huge difference in prices for one-off costs, so that means design. The cost advantage is 72% for the AMS. In, in automotive three-shift mode, it is a cost advantage of $5,500. Uh, the same with a two-shift model and with AMS, the costs are $1,566. Costs per machine, production and assembly. The cost advantage is here 89% for the AMS. The cost in a three-shift operation is $2,400. In a two-shift operation, the same $2,400, and with AMS, just $275. The ongoing costs for 10 years. The advantage for AMS is 92% to 79%. The ongoing costs in a three-shift mode are $10,142. In two-shift, $5,218. And with AMS, doesn't matter of two or three shifts, $110. Costs of service replacement. The advantage for AMS of is 63% to 62%, depending on three shifts or two shifts. The real costs are with three shifts, $5,897, in two-shift mode, $5,853, and with AMS, $2,230. Total cost of ownership, $24,400. Three shift mode with glass scale, 90,000 
and $45 for a glass scale in two shift mode and only 4,169 euros for EMS salute system. Overview of the individual cost calculations. Design and detailing glass scale 25 hours versus AMS, which takes only seven hours. This includes definition construction space, design interface, components, power supply, examination, assembly and disassembly, elaboration, dimensioning, those detailing components, creating assembly drawing and parts list. Manufacturing and processing, glass scale takes six hours versus AMS just 0.5 hours. This includes frame, holder for slider, and slider interface. Assembling, glass scale takes around three hours, AMS just one hour. This includes aligning and fixing housing, fixing of slider holder, check system with test coach, lying and connecting electrical and ceiling air systems, commissioning. Total effort, glass scale, 34.5 hours versus EMS, just 8.5 hours. Overview of the individual cost calculations. Material procurement and logistics, logistics, creation of all materials, purchasing from two glass scale or one AMS suppliers, purchasing of air filter, fittings, tube, just with glass scale, stocking of all materials. Continuous operation and maintenance. Continuous operation, high pressure air, assumption 0.04 dollars per hour times 24 hours a day times 330 days a year times three axis. This makes 960 dollars per year. Filter change each two years, glass scale assumption $18 per change times three axis, $27.5 a year. With AMS, battery change every five years. Assumption $80 per change times three axis, it makes $6 a year. Overview of the individual cost calculations. Service, disassembly, assembly, measuring system, glass scale, disassembly, cover, cable, pressure air, slider holder, slider, scale, housing, takes one hour. Assembly, aligning and fixing of housing, slider holder and slider to machine, checking measuring system with test coach, connection of cables and high pressure air, Covers assembly, measuring of axis takes two hours. Total machine downtime, three hours. Plus cost, new measuring system. With AMS, disassembly reader head, electronic box, cable, 0.5 hours. Assembly reader head, electronic box, cable, 0.75 hours. Total machine downtime, 1.25 hours. Plus cost, you read ahead. Further advantages of the integrated measuring system, AMS, compared to alternative measuring systems. The AMS is part of the profile trail and therefore the thermal expansion is identical 
to the machine bed. Benefit, no temperature differences between bed and scale. DAMS does not require any sealing air. Plus scales in machine tool require this both in the operational and switched off mode of machine to prevent contamination of dripping coolant. Benefit, lower procurement and logistics costs. Air treatment costs around 80 to 100 euro per axis and must be added to the price of the glass scale and stocked. Benefits, lower operating and maintenance costs. AMS protection glass IP68 versus glass scale IP64 with sealing air or IP6, IP53 without sealing air. AMS is 100% compatible with the Schneeberger monorail profile drain. Benefit for customers who insist on an alternative measuring system, machines can be equipped for both measuring systems or converted from one to the other without design effort. The cost of AMS increases linearly with increasing axis length. The costs of a glass scale increase quadratically above 0.5 to 1.2 meters. AMS is more favorable in terms of procurement costs. With regard to logistics and assembly costs, AMS is more favorable in any case. Benefit, better economical use, especially with increasing access lengths. AMS offers endless possibilities. Benefit even for large access lengths where glass scales can no longer be used profitably or alternative measuring methods are too inaccurate, there is no need to dispense with high precision measuring. With AMS Absolute, the measuring system knows its position in every operating state. Analog measuring systems must be first zeroed when the machine is switched on. Machines are reduced and more productive main time capacity is available. The measuring length of AMS are freely selectable. Glass scales are only available in fixed sizes. Benefit design flexibility. With AMS, any number of reading heads are possible per measuring system. For glass scales, there can be a maximum of two heads. Benefit no increased mounting effort associated with loss of accuracy. The AMS uses a uniform reset for all sizes of profile rates. Benefits, cost control in stocking and ease of service in case of replacement. Only one supplier for profile rail guides and measuring system and mineral casting based subsystem. Benefits, reduced administrative effort for material master management and stocking of individual components, reduced effort for purchasing, reduced total cost of ownership, extension of product responsibility to the supplier and thus reduction of own risk. Addressing misconceptions about AMS. The resolution of a glass scale is higher. This is true in principle. However, on the one hand, due to the indirect measurement setup and the different expansion coefficients of glass and steel, a large part of the resolution cannot be used. And on the other hand, the measurement accuracy of the entire system is what counts in the end. In this respect, the AMS is on a par. 
In case of damage, the complete profile rail guide has to be replaced in the field, which can be at an immense cost and time. Since the measuring scale is fully integrated and sealed into the rail, damage to it is only possible due to magnetic influences. The retest, on the other hand, can wear out and can be replaced very easily and quickly. This eliminates the need to realign, remeasure the machine. Application tip. Reader head should be easy to reach. In the picture you show, you see the reader head which can be easily exchanged. Application examples. AMS has a wide range of possible applications. AMS is taken as direct measuring system together with linear motors, hydraulic or pneumatic cylinders, port screws, timing belts, and so on. AMS is taken as direct measuring system in each kind of machinery, like medical, metrology, machine tool, printing, handling, automation, electronic, laser application. AMS is taken as direct measuring system in a stroke from more than 0.1 meter up to 200 meter measuring length. An application in the watchmaking industry shows you the picture on the left side, the machine itself, and on the right side, you see the, the three different axes equipped with AMS absolute. The second picture shows you an example out of the machine tool industry, in this case, a huge uh, uh, horizontal milling machine. The picture shows you an application example in medical technology. An application in printing industry shows you this picture. AMS is often taken in laser machining which shows you this picture here. Thank you, Dieter. Now, before we begin with today's Q&A, please direct your attention to our webinar survey available on the right of the presentation window. If you close the survey, you can reopen the widget by clicking the icon along the bottom of your screen. Thank you in advance for filling out the feedback form. Your participation in the survey allows us to better serve you. And now, on to the question and answer portion of our event. As a reminder, to participate in the Q&A, just type your question into the text box located to the right of the presentation window, or click the Q&A icon at the bottom of your screen. If we are not able to answer all submitted questions during today's webinar, we'll be sure to share them with our speaker, who can reply to you offline. Okay, uh, due to the first question, how is the AMS scale protected? The AMS scale has a protection strip over the scale which is hardened and laser welded so that nothing can happen. Uh, well, that's a very uh, uh, good answer there. And uh, question two, how fast can the AMS travel? The AMS can travel up to 4.4 meters a second. Hmm. Does the orientation of the axis affect the AMS? Will it work upside down? Oh yes, the AMS can also work upside down. There is no effect uh, of, the, of the AMS in the orientation. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, next question, uh, will coolant affect the measuring? 
No, coolant will not affect the measuring, or as well as oiling or greasing. Mm -hmm. And uh, another question, uh, the uh, accuracy is very high. How does it correspond to the amount of transverse and angular play between the rail and the carriage? So um, a carriage has, is preloaded. That means um, because of the preload, the AMS is not influenced during measuring. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you. Uh, I, I need to cut uh, short. That's all the time we have for questions today. And thank you. We appreciate your time and expertise on today's topic. Uh, thank you, Dieter, and thank you to our sponsor, Schneeberger, as well as to everyone in the audience. We appreciate your attention and participation. Within the next 24 hours, you'll receive a personalized follow-up email with details and a link to today's presentation on demand. Please feel free to invite your colleagues and peers who may not have been able to listen to this event today. This webinar is copyright 2021 by Informa. The presentation materials are owned or copyrighted by Informa Markets. The individual speaker is solely responsible for his content and opinions. Thank you for your time and have a great day.